Good morning. Here's what's left of my fire. I still have some juniper burning. This stuff, I... Hi, how you doing? Don't mind the hair. I have hair, but it's it's like silver. So. Ah, juniper is an amazing piece of wood. I, I had no... It's like it's part of my journey and my learning process. All the spirituality and phrases like childhood trauma and ancestral curses and just playing you know tarot cards and all my tarot cards are gonna get wet except for my white sage tarot I bought actually bought this in Newport a little crystal shop and it's juniper I bought a box of it in quartzite the lady was like when I, that was when I took a shower at a little beautician's house that you know she would let people take showers and five bucks and she had these boxes of wood <laughs> And she's like, I was like, cool, five bucks for wood, right? So, and then she's like, well, you know, <laughs> it was for a certain type of wood, but then there was like juniper and, and mesquite, and she was like, you can have a box or whatever. I was like, I want a box of all of them, so I just want to try some different stuff. So I got a box of juniper. I still have some of it, because it's just, I was like, okay, well, this is an interesting smell, because it kind of smells like cedar. And so I looked up, you know, when I burned sage and stuff, so I, apparently juniper, is a protective wood if you spurn it it's a you know which is kind of like cedar and i thought that was interesting because when i was at that shop to get, getting these actual the deck i just showed you they had these cedar sticks that you could burn because i grabbed some sage while i was there and they had cedar sticks and i was like but you know juniper i love and i just had a big box of it plus i got some more actually when i as a matter of fact i think that was a lot of that was juniper too which was bizarre those two boxes that were like right underneath the tree that when I showed up at my spot in, at Chiriaco. So yeah, and it works. I just, you know, I throw it in with my fire every once in a while and I love the smell of it. So these are things that you learn on your journey, in my journey, as a, as a Magi, as a, as a shaman. You know, it's kind of weird when you go from the warrior to the shaman. You're like, uh, not that I've ever really been big on hurting anybody, but, you know, because... That's the beautiful thing about being a big person, like being 6'1", is people just don't want to take, they just don't take the chance of getting their ass whooped, so a lot of times they don't mess with you. So I didn't have to fight a lot when I did, it was usually just a quick, you know, me going Bobby Boucher and just beating the crap out of them, and then, them, you know, except for the time when there were six of them, and I got stabbed in the back, that was fun. But, you know, like I said, a big blonde Viking showed up without a shirt on and saved my ass and ran him off. It was a Grateful Dead show. But today I want to talk about learning how to fly, which goes along with my journey. You know, I'm learning how to fly. And interestingly enough, as a shaman, one of the things that they talk about to know if you are a shaman is you have dreams of flying. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I saw a bald eagle twice. Awesome. I saw it flying. Yesterday I saw it flying south in front of me. I was just randomly looking out there and it was just flying by. I was like, yes. And I was just thinking about that the other day. I was like, man, I haven't seen any bald eagles yet. And last time I was here last summer, I saw two of them. It was beautiful. And sure enough, this morning I saw it flying back. I was like, I love you. It's so beautiful. It was like right, I mean, literally 30 feet away. It was beautiful. This is all part of my process, man. As a, as a shaman, as I gotta get in touch with the universe, and I have to learn how to master fire, water, air, and earth, and all that fun stuff. I've talked about that in past videos, about the four elements and controlling them, and internally too, like fire being the passion, and you know, earth being the you know your sustain, your your coin, you know, and air being your thoughts and water being your emotions and controlling all of those and that's how you master your universe and become the emperor or empress of it so learning to fly and it's all about self-love again and it's funny because i might i have readers that are just going off about that right now a lot of it's like that they're coming back they're coming back i don't know what that's all about that there are a lot of they're like that shit's getting old <laughs> but at the same time they're talking about you know ascending and they're talking about you know the soulmate journey and the twin flame journey and all that fun stuff.
but it's all it all starts with yourself you know and I got triggered by somebody and and it was it was it was it, that had to happen like they say the tower has to happen for you to rebuild it to see how you know faulty the foundation is so you can actually tear it all down and rebuild it right you know do it right people so I'm I'm working on my foundation what's up Baba there's a bunch of grapes out there I threw for the I feed the crows they're my that's part of my journey too crows are amazing animals I'm just gonna say it right now I know they do documentaries and all stuff but I've literally for the last year and a half my travels the one thing I've always seen is crows I've seen bald eagles I've seen red tail hawks I've seen offspray I've seen cranes I've seen you know falcons which are really badass I saw a really badass falcon at the Grand Canyon it was the middle of winter like early spring everything's frozen and I'm going for a walk and it's so quiet and you see this thing just flying through the trees it went right by me too it's just like oh, it's so badass but yeah but anyway crows are so cool smart and they're magical uh, not, that's what reminds me of the the 70s show when they're out hunting and and Fez brings back the the the, the chickens that he killed the birds and they were crows and Hyde was freaking out that's bad juju man but anyway it's funny. crows are awesome I love them and yeah it's good juju to feed them they're part of my crew so anyway uh, learning to fly I know I wasn't supposed to do any videos but channel right so hopefully I don't have anything on my face it's early and I'm just like mm, I'm chilling it's nice it's a beautiful spot anyway um that's it I think I got into a little bit I'm just like uh eh. I'm so uh, ascending learning to fly getting in touch with yourself your spirit your higher self Getting a higher vibration. I'm all like, doo -doo -doo. it's like Sunday morning. What is it? This is not Sunday morning. Anyways, every day is Sunday morning when you work for yourself and you're traveling full time. You don't have an alarm clock to wake up to. It's fucking sweet. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's rough and it's a little scary at times and you never know, but at the same time, oh my God, talk about freedom. Amen, baby. So I'm gonna do some more work inner healing which I need obviously I'm not done yet <sighs> and I hope you have a wonderful day I love you God loves you and the universe is so crazy about you oh I was gonna say uh, no apologies for this fucking thing I wear it every day it's not smelly I wash a lot but seriously I bought this at Roswell I have if I have to drive all the way to Roswell to buy another one of these things I will it was actually going south right outside of town and there's a bunch of little sh like a little shops right there and you'll see him he had a table out I bought a blanket which I have right here I bought a blanket and I brought this thing and this thing is just oh my god it's so cool. it's the most comfortable piece of clothing I've ever bought period end of story so yeah go pick one up they're awesome <sighs> what else that's it no, I told you about the hat I always wear that's my my mom knitted that for me so but plus it's warm too. So that's it. I'm gonna, let you go. I'm gonna let you have a little slice of my coast, the north coast of yeah. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.